So we are at the Mobile World Congress 2011, and uh, what's the latest news with FUN? Uh, FUN is the largest Wi-Fi community in the world. We have uh, today 3.3 million hotspots, and it's growing quite fast. And uh, we expect to have uh, many, many more uh, in the coming year. So it's a very big deal to have a backhaul with Wi-Fi for all the carriers. Um, the truth is, uh, carriers are looking into Wi-Fi right now. Uh, we had this vision that five years ago all the devices would get uh, Wi-Fi and that's the truth today and uh, the demand for uh, an internet connection is uh, increasing uh, quite rapidly. Uh, as a result today everybody is looking into Wi-Fi and uh, with our technology and our network we try to convince uh, operators like telcos or uh, fixed operators or uh, mobile operators to partner with FUN to deploy the FUN network and uh, have more uh, Wi-Fi hotspots. So the examples, the big examples are BT and who else? BT in the UK is on in Portugal, MTS in uh, Russia, uh, SoftBank in Japan, uh, SFR in France and many more coming this year. Many more coming. So what goes into a partnership? Uh, we, we are looking for one preferred partner in uh, each country. Uh, obviously, the benefits are uh, for uh, their uh, subscribers that FUN is a cool service, very convenient service, uh, which uh, lets uh, their customers uh, bring their uh, broadband with them, and uh, it makes them happier. And usually we have uh, an exclusivity with uh, our partners, uh, which means that uh, the subscribers, um, if they leave their uh, ISP, they leave also the FUN community and they can't use it anymore. So we help them make their uh, subscribers more loyal and we reduce the churn. And every time you add users through that partnership, they are compatible with all phone users? Every phone user can access? Absolutely. Once you, you share with phone, you can use the phone network everywhere. Sometimes you ship it with this? So that's the, the second way to, to share with phone. So the first way is to have a, a gateway uh, that is phone enabled from your uh, ISP. So basically you work with them to update the firmware? And, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly, and we, uh, we uh, remotely upgrade the, the, the gateways of uh, are distributed by our ISPs. Yeah. The second way is to be uh, equipped with a phone router, yeah. the phone era. Uh, such, uh, this is the cheapest one you've made so far, huh? Exactly, and we distributed uh, one million of them. One million now? Yeah. Uh, in less than a year? In less than a year, mainly through our... Uh, our partner in Japan called uh, SoftBank. Yeah. Uh, they are a mobile operator and they distribute the, the phone router to all their uh, Android and iPhone customers yeah. so that they can use it to offload traffic. So SoftBank has ADSL as well or only mobile? Um, the, the fixed activities of SoftBank are um, uh, very specific. Yeah. Uh, so we are um, mainly partnering with the mobile all right. Part of Mobile partners get this, yes. and the uh, ADSL kind of uh, the, the, the guys like BT that was both mobile and ADSL, they, they can try to update the firmware. BT have only fixed operations. All right. So How about if some countries uh, might think of like not having exclusivity? What if some carriers want to have like try to talk with all the carriers to have one standard for that? Could work. Uh, Work. We'd be happy to, uh, to yeah. uh, show them our proposition and to be yeah. the, the company in charge of uh, making this happen for us. Basically, you want as many phone spots as possible, right? That's our plan. We, have, we want Wi-Fi everywhere. Right. everywhere. Are you tweaking any, in any way how phone works in terms of like prices per day, per use, per all that? Are you trying different yes, measurements we, or me different of styles course, of, of doing course, that? We, we track the conversion rates. We track. Uh, we adapt to local markets, and we add the new ma uh, payment methods. So, so far, you can pay by premium SMS or credit card or PayPal or uh, click and buy or whatever. So, we are uh, looking into uh, new uh, payment methods, and we adapt to local markets, which means that uh, the price of uh, one pass won't be the same between Portugal and uh, the UK, for example. And uh, so, the passes are usually per day, right? You're not. Experimenting with megabytes? We have no. It's uh, it's, uh, it's passes are defined with a length. Yeah. In time. How about not by uh, volume? How about mesh? Is anybody still against it or for it? Maybe yeah. in the future? We are not against it, but it's a bit against the fund model, 
in which you must share to enjoy the fun network. Yeah. So if we do mesh, it means that you won't have to share your internet connection. You will just be able to relay someone else's connection, which is a bit different. So it's not exactly our model. And Maybe you just get a rebate a little bit. You could get a rebate, but I mean, let's do that once we will have a, a critical size. And yeah. from that moment, we will be able to are any of the phone users worried about uh, losing some of their bandwidth for like people around using their bandwidth? They are not, and for uh, one uh, very good reason, which is that the phone service comes on top of their existing service. And the traffic of the owner of the phone spot has always the priority over the traffic of the visitors. So we do that through uh, uh, traffic shaping rules in your routers, uh, through a firewall, etc. And we make sure that uh, the visitors can't squander the bandwidth of the owner. How about recently there's been some uh, funny stories on the internet where some people are trying to uh, suggest that if you don't uh, WPA protect your connection, you can see what everybody else is doing on the or, so, or log in with yes, their but users. Uh, this is not new. It's always been there. It's uh, yeah? uh, it's the protocol, the IP TCP protocol that is like this. MAC address. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Faking, or what's it called? Uh... No, it's not. It's not my kind of faking. It's just that when you are on the same medium, yeah, you can listen to the other station's uh, traffic. Okay. That's it. It's, it's, it's like being on a hub, yeah, on Ethernet. The yeah. hub, uh, in that case, is uh, the here. So okay. So, you can but listen that, to anyone. As long as the the, the fun spot is not encrypted, so that part is always going to be. Uh, well, we have that. That we think that, that it's on uh, the, the internet services to implement uh, solutions like HTTPS or uh, ah, yeah. uh, or uh, encryption mechanisms yeah. to uh, to make their services uh, safe for the users. So Gmail, for example, has no risk. Is HTTPS? Gmail, if you you access it with uh, HTTPS, you won't have any zero solution. risk. Is the risk zero does not exist. Okay. You know that in okay. security. Everything that has been created by man can be hacked yeah. in one sense. But for example, H but, uh, Facebook? But you will be safer with HTTPS in, uh, yeah. with uh, Gmail than without HTTPS. Facebook does not use HTTPS maybe, so... Uh, they are bringing it. They're bringing it, uh, okay. You know, it, it takes quite some time to uh, deploy something at Facebook. Well, I'm okay. not speaking on behalf of Facebook. Yeah. But I remember that a friend of mine has had the possibility in uh, his options to permanently use uh, HTTPS, and I hadn't the option at that time. But they are they are aware of the issue. They are bringing it. They have uh, solutions for that. So, uh, could fun use future uh, spectrum like uh, white space? So we are looking into it. But um, as you probably know, there aren't many devices able to connect to uh, such solutions. So for now, we are focusing on Wi-Fi, which is the widespread technology that equips uh, all the devices today. And uh, of course, we are looking into uh, the new technologies, but for now, yeah. it's Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi. How about the software Android and iOS? Does it, is it automatic to get over to Wi-Fi when there's Wi-Fi? Uh, absolutely. Like For example, in, uh, in uh, an iPhone, uh, when you authenticate the first time on the phone network, you just have to check a box, remember me, yeah. and after that you will see the connection manager included in uh, the iPhone open and close by himself because you will be remembered. On, on Android, we have uh, an Android application called uh, Phone Connect that you can find on the market, uh, which is free. You enter your credentials once, and after that, every time you, uh, you are in reach of the phone network, uh, it will uh, seamlessly connect. But uh, there's no, like, uh, what's it called? It's not totally automatic. Basically, the, the carrier is not like it doesn't. The carrier couldn't know where the phone is and basically tell you, okay, now we switch you automatically over to Wi-Fi, remotely. But it's it's kind of automatic, you know. It like is your, automatic. Your Android phone will uh, uh, constantly look for a Wi-Fi network. Yeah. And if it finds a phone Wi-Fi network, it will connect connect it to the network. To that instead of the other one. Yes. It's automatic. Yes. It's always been like that in the smartphones. Yes. Ah, that's cool, actually. That's very cool, yes, indeed. So, actually, that's fun. That's fun. So, actually, it's totally, like, automatic, your system. The backhauling is totally there. There's no, like, 
extra layers of tweaking needed. Just to need to enter once your credentials, and after that, it works seamlessly. Cool. Are you announcing how much uh, money all your phone users are making? Uh, we don't share the information of our users, but I can tell you that we broke even uh, in uh, mid 2009. We have a pretty nice EBITDA, and uh, we are looking into uh, increasing the number of fun spots and having more major deals with ISPs. And uh, we see a bright future. And the operators get a share of that profit when yes, we, their networks. When, when we partner with ISPs, uh, we share the revenues generated by the selling of passes to people who don't share, basically, and who want right. to access the network. But that revenue is not big enough yet for them to go truly mad about it, or are they? Of course not, no, of course not. Yeah. Uh, this revenue stream is, of course, important to them, but it's not their main business, and it's not what's going to make them uh, re a lot richer yeah. than what they are. So. All right, cool, thanks.